In this tutorial, we'll look at the steps required to convert an image to grayscale and then add a splash of color. This is a great effect for that special picture that you have. First, what we'll need to do is browse to where our images are located. In the navigation panel on the left side, select Browse More Folders. Once you have the folder selected, simply click OK. Next, I'm going to select the thumbnail for the image that I want to use and then click the Edit tab. This will open the image in the Edit lab where I can make the modifications to my image. One thing that I'd like to draw your attention to here is the Learning Center on the right hand side. The Learning Center is a great starting point where you can learn how to use some of the most common tools. It also changes views depending on the tool that you have selected. Now, let's move on with our lesson. From the toolbox on the left side, we're going to use the masking tools. Masking is the process where we can protect areas of an image that we want to do some modifications to. Think of it like using masking tape when painting around a window frame. I'm going to start off with a magic wand. This will allow us to select areas of the image by color. In the interactive property bar at the top, I want to change my mode to add. I'll click on one area of the image and one thing that you may notice is that it only selected a small portion of the object. By adjusting the tolerance here, I can make it a bit less sensitive to the color that I'm trying to select. I'll continue to click around the image until I have everything that I need selected. Now in order for me to add this element here, I'm going to switch to the rectangular mask tool and use it to draw a small mask to add to the selection. Now that I have the entire image selected, we can move on. Okay, we're almost done. The next step is to invert the mask. So from the selection menu, I select invert. How easy was that? Now, on to the magic. I'm going to go to the Adjust menu and down to Hue, Saturation and select Hue, Saturation and Lightness. In this dialog box, I want to make sure that Colorize is selected. And next, we will drop the saturation right down. Now, wasn't that easy? I'll click OK to this and then the last step is to go back to the selection menu and select none. And we're done. So as you can see, spending a couple of minutes in PaintShop Pro will allow you to create a unique image that can be enjoyed for years to come.